energy is getting more and more complex. There are and there will be more different sorts of energy. In applying all these sorts of energy, we need to interconnect them in a process we call energy system integration. Energy system integration can happen on three different levels. In a house or residential area, in a town or community, or in a larger area. In energy system integration terms, there is one area where there's a very great deal to gain. The North Sea and its surrounding countries. NC is the European North Sea Energy Alliance. NC is working towards a platform for energy system integration currently including four countries. Scotland, Norway, Germany and the Netherlands. In the North Sea area, a vast amount of energy infrastructure has been put in place by these countries, each acting alone because there was no reason to collaborate. Until now, the oil and gas fields are being depleted. We now know that in five or at most 20 years, they will be exhausted. Then we'll need to dismantle these often gigantic installations. This so-called decommissioning is likely to cost 50 to 100 billion euros just to clean up what was once built. However, there is an alternative which simply requires a new way of looking at things. Wide-ranging research and consultations have thrown up a strategy from which we can all benefit. Exploration and production companies, the countries and their people, and the environment. If we set up a network of inter-regional collaboration spanning the entire energy supply chain and all the nations involved. The North Sea is one of our biggest common assets. So let's do things differently. NC's research and consultations indicate it would be wise to keep some fields and their infrastructures intact and give them an alternative use. Use fields for storage of gas or CO2 and use the system of pipelines for energy transport. The Netherlands plans to create offshore wind energy parks producing 6,000 megawatts. With the contributions from Scotland, Norway and Germany, the capacity of wind parks in the North Sea will grow over the next 20 years to 50,000 or even 100,000 megawatts. Storage of energy poses the challenge here, of course. NC proposes research into storage of wind energy in the form of hydrogen, on site at the large production islands offshore, far away from populations. The existing gas pipelines can bring to land a significant amount of hydrogen mixed with natural gas. And if we mix hydrogen with CO2, we get methane, another natural gas which can be piped ashore. Platforms which are no longer needed can be transformed into reefs for fish. By using green decommissioning, we can create another usage for them and in doing so, recycle and save money, creating even more advantages and creating collaboration with nature. There are some hurdles to be cleared in implementing these measures short term. One of the main challenges is that all players involved, companies, governments or political parties, are understandably being cautious in the present international climate. Exploration and production companies have a standard and automatic provision in their budgets for decommissioning costs. In the NC scenario, they would only need to call on a small portion of this budget, making use of our green decommissioning principle. NC's aim is to bring together the countries around the North Sea into a structure of collaboration embedded in a European region of excellence, ultimately bringing lower societal cost. And that's why we all need to come to mutual agreements that can be submitted through NC in Brussels. Plus, there is something else in play. If we're not prepared to make the deals, deals will be made for us. OSPA in Brussels will make sure of that in 2018. To come up with a mutual plan that can be submitted before then, we need to start today. We are proposing a master plan for all the players in the NC region. Everybody who joins in advances their own situation advances tomorrow's energy supply 
and helps keep our planet blue.